We are here with the lovely Gianna DeLuca. Oh, Gianna, you're not looking very well. Ugh, I know, right? I feel and look terrible. I must have come down with something. I'm so sorry to hear that. I do hope you get better. I came down here to ask you some questions. That way we could learn a little bit more about you. Would you still be up to answering some questions? I guess, why not? It's not like I'm doing anything. I'm just home sick from school. And my mother is just trying to nurse me back to health. Plus, it's not like it's a topic I'm not interested in. Great, so you'll be up to answering some questions for us? Yeah, why not? We're talking about me here, right? Yes, we are. Okay, so we'll start off with this. <laughs> What's your favorite color? <sighs> Pink, of course. I'm truly a girly girl. I can see that. When is your birthday, Gianna? My birthday is May 1st, one of the best days of the year. I'm sure you're looking forward to another birthday. Oh yeah, you have no idea. I'm trying to convince my parents to get me a car, and that requires me to be on my best behavior. Do you find it hard to be on your best behavior? Well, it's not that it's hard. It's just that doing the things I want to do sometimes doesn't go with doing the right thing. It's not that I'm doing a bad thing. It's that I want to do one thing and then disregard something that is more important. I'm having a hard time really understanding what you mean. All right, let me give an example then. So... Over the summer, there was this party I really wanted to go to. It wasn't that going to the party was bad. The problem was I wanted to skip out on my summer camp responsibilities to go to the party. Oh, I understand now. Don't worry, I didn't skip out on camp. But it's making those kinds of choices that I hope and pray will get me my car. It seems like you struggle with making the right decision. How do you decide what to do in those kinds of situations? To be honest with you, I think about what Lucky would do, since she is such a do-right. And Lucky really just thinks about how Jesus would act in a situation. Basically, I follow Jesus, but he never steers me wrong. So I listen to him and how he would do things. Though things may be challenging, it seems like you figured things out. You think? I guess I kind of have. All right, if you had to win an award, would it be the Nobel Peace Prize, an Academy Award, or an Olympic gold medal? Well, I'm not much of an athlete, so a gold medal is out of the question. I'd have to say an Academy Award. My face would look great on the big screen. I can see you as an actress. If you had to live one week without the internet, what would you do? Really though, I don't even want to consider this scenario. It's like what nightmares are made of. Can you please try and answer the question for us? Okay. When I was little, I read a lot of books. So I guess I would do that to pass the time. Oh, and I could also brush up on my makeup skills. I couldn't see you as an avid reader. What can I say? I'm full of surprises. I see. What's your favorite dish to cook? I don't get to do a lot of cooking because my mother definitely takes over that role in our house. But I do like to make lasagna for my parents' anniversary. That's very sweet of you, Gianna. Thanks. I do love my parents. They did make me after all. Who are some of your closest friends in school? Well, I usually hang out with Clarissa and Bethany. They're older. Lucky was my best friend when we were kids. Our families are really close. Even though we've grown apart, I just have to accept that she's my friend who looks out for my best interests. That is the definition of a true friend. I couldn't agree with you more. I know you have two brothers. 
What is the best part about having siblings? The best part is I'm the only girl. Do you want to say something about your brothers? Yes, of course. I was just getting there. Tessiano is a great big brother. He is always there for me, and he always teaches me new things. Kaysen is full of comic relief. He keeps things interesting. I do love my brothers very much. It's good to see you have love for your brothers. This is the last question. What is the top thing you want to do from your bucket list? This is an easy question. I want to be famous and travel the world. Well, thank you, Gianna, for letting us get to know more about you. I think people will be surprised by who you really are. You think so? Well, I do try to keep a sense of mystery about me. But this is really fun. We should do it again. Yes, we should. Please get some rest and feel better, Gianna. Thank you, and I will. Bye, people. <laughs> follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children, and walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. Throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on your new nature, created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22 through 24. For God called you to do good, even if it means suffering, just as Christ suffered for you. He is your example and you must follow in his steps. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21.